Hello and welcome to this latest uh, tele-training session. Uh, today we're going to speak about our E1 PF480 uh, ultimate phase loss monitoring relay. Uh, this product is one of our most common products that we uh, sell and uh, today I'll show you how this little guy here will make your life way easier. Hey, so there we are again. Uh, so in the end, um, you might have seen our uh, previous video about phase loss monitoring and power quality. Uh, in the end, what we do with our uh, three-phase uh, monitoring relays is we check the uh, three-phase power quality, which includes phase loss, uh, phase sequence, and also the phase balance value. Uh, the whole purpose of phase monitoring relays is basically to act before it's too late. So before even like you start up your panel or your drive unit, uh, we make sure that everything um, that is related to the power quality and phase quality um, actually aligns with uh, where it should be. So in the end, we protect, protect and protect, and we make sure that your equipment is safe, uh, safely operated and we prevent current spikes or overheating uh, or uh, uneven wear of uh, your drive units. Why would you choose Tele? Well, in the end, Tele offers a convenient, compact, and affordable solution to deal with uh, a power quality monitoring. In the end, as I said, we offer a, a big uh, number of features in this small 17.5 millimeter unit. What you would do here is you just cannot connect your three phases, A, B, and C. Um, this device especially is suitable for voltages up to 480 volts AC. And this unit actually combines the logic, meaning we measure phase loss, phase uh, balance and also phase rotation um, in this device combined with the relay output. So in case something happens, uh, a relay will trip and, and send an alarm or trip a contactor unit. Uh, this product is pretty cool because it's self-powered, so you don't need to worry about additional um, power supplies or so. And in the end, the LED status indication gives a uh, um, an indication of whether or not there is a failure um, happening or not. As I mentioned already, 17.5 17 uh, millimeter uh, um, a slim IC style footprint uh, that uh, mounts on a thin rail. And um, in the end, what you also have here is you have an adjustable face uh, balance uh, dial here, meaning that you can either select the face balance feature to be off or you can select the face balance between five and 25%. You could also take this product and take it to the next level. We kind of evolved this product and integrated also a tripping delay, which is uh, available in a separate product. Uh, the only difference uh, in the feature here is that, for example, for the face balance feature, so in case the the, the face balance starts drifting away or, or we recognize a, a little um, difference in the, in the value, uh, you can set, for example, a five second delay, meaning you want to wait five seconds before the alarm really trips and then uh, in case after five seconds the the values didn't like normalize again we would trip the relay um, this is an optional feature uh, the part numbers actually differ differentiate between the 0 1 and the 10 at the end uh, the part number for the sku for this uh, uh, enhanced prog will be 134.03.05 but in the end same concept just increased and enhanced uh, um, functionality when it comes to the tripping uh, delay feature now we're going to highlight a little bit where the, the products will be used and in, in the end this is like the basic protection feature that you can have in control panels, all sorts of machinery, um, so everything that is connected to the electrical grid, the 480 volts, and um, can also be used for fans, compressors, pumps, and uh, also uh, generator set units. And it doesn't matter what application it is, with this product you always make sure that the power quality is sufficient enough to run your application. So one of the applications would be uh, our screw feeder monitoring, uh, where we make sure that uh, in case the new screw feeder unit is installed, you want to make sure it's running in the right direction. And um, what we want to prevent here is basically from the screw feeder unit to run in the wrong direction and maybe also like block a feeder unit. 
So in the end, in, if, in case the, the phase rotation or like a phase would be lost, um, we would send an alarm and shut off, safely shut off the, uh, the screw feeder unit. So let's look at another cool application here. This more like describes a basic monitoring feature for every uh, industrial electrical panel, really. Um, our clients like to use this device to basically have it as their uh, insurance policy for their panel um, for less than $100. So in this case, we make sure all the power quality factors and uh, power quality standards are aligned with what you expect to be fed into your panel. Um, and that ranges, as I mentioned earlier, from power uh, phase loss uh, phase balance and also phase rotation so that you make sure your automation equipment is running the best way possible. And in case something is like um, not working the way you want it to, uh, meaning a power level is like below what you expect it to be, our product would shut off and trigger an alarm or like even um, activate like a, a backup power unit or so. So now let's see how you would actually be able to set up the product. Um, let's uh, have our more sophisticated product with adjustable tripping delay. So of course uh, you would um, uh, you would wire it, the uh, product according to the data sheet and the mechanical documentation. As I mentioned before, no external power supply is needed. Uh, just connect the three mains and you're good to go. Um, in this case, we're setting the asymmetry feature. So step number one describes to um, uh, set the phase balance level. The phase balance level can be set to off, meaning we don't look at the phase balance at all, or you can set it uh, between 5 and 25%. Um, meaning the difference or the delta between two phases has to be between 5 or 25% for us to trigger um, the output relay. What we would usually recommend instead of turning it off this feature, uh, just uh, generously set it at 20%, uh, meaning that you have like a, a very a generous but also basic uh, monitoring in case something might happen. And uh, in, in with this certain product with the tripping delay at uh, the top dial, just use a regular screwdriver uh, screwdriver to to set your your time delay. Um, and this actually sets the time in seconds from 0.1 to 20 seconds that uh, will go by until the relay trips in case we look at a uh, wrong phase imbalance. And step three, of course, time is money, uh, super quick setup, uh, but once we're in operation, we also give um, LED status indication. That green LED would mean actually, okay, we're up and running, you know, everything is good. And uh, as soon as the, the orange LED um, basically comes to life, you would know, okay, what is the current status of my um, uh, output really, or is there a faulty status that we were currently indicating? So also pretty neat feature on only, um, 17.5 millimeters of space on a DIN rail and that actually gives you uh, the really basic basic phase, um, phase monitoring features um, for the best price on the market and also um, in the smallest size. So yeah there we are that's already the end. Thank you for, for tuning in today and uh, please also stay tuned for one of the following um, phase loss monitoring sessions where we describe a few other products where you can enhance the uh, uh, measuring range up to 690 volts. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be in another session. So thank you so much for, for tuning in today and thanks for um, uh, taking the time to watch these videos. Um, we really appreciate your, appreciate your support. Bye.